there are two things I want to talk about before jumping into uh, the different the system of differential equation stuff. And so I'm going to put this before the system of differential equations videos. Um, but they, they involve then um, helping you like figure out what the coefficient matrix is uh, for the following videos. And then um, uh, there's something else that might pop up uh, involving converting uh, a, syst a differential equation into a system of differential equations. So let's hop right in. And this first one's going to be really short. But essentially, uh, what we want to do then is let's say I'm given, uh, you know, let's say I'm given the following system. Let's say I have like x1 prime. Yeah, let me pull it up. Right. So the book might some write something like x1 prime equals 2x1 plus x2, and x2 prime is equal to negative 3x1 minus 2x2. Well, essentially, in order to go from this form into x prime is equal to ax, all right, all you have to do then is, oh, you just treat these guys as a vector. So now you have x1 prime, x2 prime, which is equal to x prime, okay, is equal to, and now you take the coefficients in front of these guys, which is 2, 1, negative 3, negative 2. And then now this is your matrix A. And then if you write x1, x2, and you multiply this out, you actually get this right here, right? So yeah, so this is what x prime is equal to ax means. It's actually then just this guy up here completely rewritten in a new way, OK? And so in the following videos, when you see x prime is equal to ax, uh, this is what this is. This system up here is actually what I'm, uh, we're portraying. All right. And the idea falls then for a system of three equations. Right. If you have x1 prime, x2 prime, x3 prime, then this is then a three by one vector. And then this is a three by three matrix and et cetera. Right. OK, so that's that much. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is uh, this thing where you can convert uh, a, a, a Diffie Q as a as a system. So, for example, let's take a look. Then um, the question will be phrased as like write uh, the following Diffie Q um, as a first order system. Okay, and so what do we get? We have uh, d squared x dt squared plus 4e to the t dx or the, 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 the dx dt and then minus 9 t squared x is equal to 7 t squared. Okay. And now we want to write this somehow as a system of equations. And so what do we do? Um, the way you almost always do this is um, the following. And before I move on, this might be something like x double prime plus 4e tx prime minus 9t squared x. Um, it could also be written like this. Uh, these two are the same thing. Um, it depends on what your professor likes to do uh, with Right, and then you can put t's here as well. It, it, all, it all depends on what your professor um, likes to do with his notation or her notation. Um, anyways, so, okay, and then we, what, what do you want to do? So the only step you can really do is say let x1 equal x and x2 equal dx dt or uh, this is the same thing as x prime. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this dx dt notation. And what happens then? Well, now you want to take the derivative. And so what's dx1 dt? Well, that's just simply dx dt, right? You take the derivative of both sides. But what is dx dt? Well, dx dt is x2, right? Since x2 is dx dt. Okay, and so dx dt is equal to x2. So dx1 dt is equal to x2. All right. So now what? Well, now what you want to do then is you want to find what dx2 dt is, all right, which is the same thing as taking the derivative of dx dt. So now this is equal to d squared. So this is equal to d dt of dx dt, which is d squared x dt squared, all right. And what is d squared x dt squared, right? Because here we have a very nice 
way of writing what dx1 is, it's simply just x2. So how can we write d squared x dt squared in terms of a bunch of, a bunch of x1s and x2s? Well, if we go back up to this equation right here, right, we have a d squared x dt squared right here. So what we do then is move everything else to the right hand side, right, we take all of these guys, and we just throw them over to the right hand side. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So d squared x dt squared is equal to, okay, 7t squared, right, and then you subtract a 4e to the t dx dt, all right, that's from here, and then you add then a 9t squared x. Now what? Now we replace anything here uh, that has, you know, a possible you know, x, x1, x2s, and what can we do? Well, here we see that dx dt, this is x squared, right? dx dt is x squared. And what else can we do? Well, x, x is x1, right? Because we let x1 equal x up top. So now I can write dx dt squared is equal to 7t squared minus 4 e to the t x2 um, plus 9t squared x1. Okay, and so this is d squared x dt squared. And so as a system now, uh, I have my two equations, right? I have uh, dx1 dt is equal to x2 from here, and now dx2 dt is equal to this guy, right? It's equal to 7t squared minus 4e to the t x2 plus 9t squared x1, all right? And yeah, this is how you do it. And this, you can actually write, now you can like throw this into a coefficient matrix, but not quite because um, this ends up being, as a coefficient matrix, um, you'll have, um, you'll have zero, one, and then negative, uh, or 9t squared, uh, 4e to the t, uh, x1, x2, right? So if you multiply that out, you'll get this, but you'll also need to add on uh, 0 and 7t squared, okay? And so this would be x1 prime, x2 prime is equal to. So this is the system um, that you end up getting. Uh, so this is x prime is equal to ax plus b, and we usually don't really deal with equations like uh, or like systems like this. Um, there's a chapter in 9.6 that talks about like like a variation parameters method where you can solve like a particular solution or something like that um, uh, where, you, where you can deal with the B. This usually doesn't come up. Um, there's like one finals problem that I can think of that uses this and I'll cover it in my recitations. So alrighty. Uh, yeah so this is then all you need to know, I guess, uh, going into the differential equation stuff at the uh, in the beginning. This looks like an e. This is a t. Yeah, and so now you can dive into those differential equations problems. Uh, I, the book, if your te te teacher is telling you to solve it like this up here, don't do it. Just follow the videos. It's a lot faster.